Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have, after a very long time, a new episode of D&D for Dummies for you guys. And today, as you've seen in the video title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be covering all the information that you need to know about the dwarf species. Now, how I'm going to structure this is I'm going to do, as I said uh, towards the end of last year, I'm going to be doing species, then a class, a species, then a class, a species, then a class, until I run out of species and classes, at which point I'll move into other bits of information about D&D that you guys need to know. Now, this is a returning series, so I did do some videos in 2021, I believe it was, 15 of them, so I will actually make a playlist very soon of all the episodes of D&D for Dummies. So, yeah, please go and check those out if you want to learn some information about other classes and race, other classes and species that I've covered. Um, in the first run of D&D for Dummies. So, what I'm going to cover is the basic information about the dwarf that you need to know, really, before you choose to play as one. So, I'm going to be reading this from D&D Beyond. I will be leaving the D&D Beyond link in the description for the dwarf, for you guys to go and check out, as I used to do in the original run of D&D for Dummies. So, let's get into it. Your dwarf character has an assortment of inborn abilities, um, part and parcel of the dwarven nature. So, your ability score increase. This is a crucial one, and it is your constitution score will increase by two. Now, the age for a dwarf. Dwarves mature at the same time, at the same rate as humans, but they're considered young until they're the age of 50, and on average they live till about 350 years old. They have dark vision, which is very useful, and as it is a skill that it's a, you, you're accustomed to life underground. You have superior vision in dark and dim conditions. You can see in dim lights within 60 feet ahead of you, as if it were bright lights, so like daytime, and in darkness as if it were dimly lit. You can't discern colour in darkness, however, only shades of grey, so there is a drawback, but it is still a very useful skill. Next we have Dwarven Combat Training. You have Proficiencies with a bat with the battle axe, hand axe, light hammer, and the war hammer. Next, you have dwarven resilience. Um, you have advantage on saving crows against poison, and you have resistance against poison damage, which can come in very handy in certain cases. Next, you have the languages. You can speak, read, and write in common English or whatever your nat native language is, and dwarvish. Dwarvish is full of hard consonants and guttural sounds and those characteristics spill over into whatever other language a dwarf might speak. Size. Dwarves stand between 4 and 5 feet tall on average, and average, and on average weigh 150 pounds, roughly, and your size is medium. Now, your speed is actually slower than a lot of species in D&D. Your base walking speed is 25 feet. However, your speed is not reduced by wearing heavy armour. Next, we have... Stone cunning. So, whenever you make an intelligence history check related to the origin of stonework, you are considered proficient in the history skill and add double your proficiency bonus to the check instead of your normal proficiency bonus. And the last thing is tool proficiency. You gain proficiency with the artisan's tools of your choice, be it either the smith's tools, the brewer's supplies, or the mason's tools. Now, there are three sub-races as well, which again, you'll be able to read about in the D&D um, Beyond link below. And they are the Hill Dwarf, the Mark of Warding Dwarf, and the Mountain Dwarf. Although you may have to go to another website to find out about the Mark of Warding Dwarf, unless you have access to the Eberron Rising from the Last War book, um, as it is in that book of the D&D rules. However, the Hill Dwarf and the Mountain Dwarf are both available in the basic rules of D&D. So, that's going to do it for this first video, back after a very long time, of D&D for Dummies on the Dwarf. Now, next week I will be covering a class. Haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I will obviously decide by then, though. So, please, give the video a like, subscribe to my and Roxanne's channel. So, link's in the description. My button is down there. Please click both of those and then the bell icons to get both sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not, and let me know what you think of the dwarf, and if you'll be playing as a dwarf in your next D&D campaign. Once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. That'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That is going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video 
with all your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with either the Soundcast or a Soundcast substitute. Goodbye!